morning. Girls, can y'all say good morning? Good morning. We are in Coles. Delaney and I are shopping with a friend um, this morning and Del Ethan was working so we thought we'd come out this morning and do just come with him and do a little shopping. Um, Coles is having a really good sale and we have a coupon for 10 off of 25 or something. So I got these little skirts, that one and that one and a couple of shirts to go with them and they're like with the coupon they're like five dollars each so i thought that was a really good price i like never come into kohl's but um they have really cute stuff here even like for women's and stuff and i just think it's so cute so i may come here for like easter dress shopping or something because i still haven't figured that out yet right. what do you girls have what do y'all have did y'all find eggs Y'all find eggs that got jelly beans in them? We are looking for like Easter basket stuff. They've got a lot of trolls stuff right there. And um, Delaney loves trolls. So we're actually, both of the girls like trolls. So we're actually looking. Oh my goodness. They get jealous of each other when one, one person has something the other one don't. But um, they're really into trolls. So they have some trolls Easter basket stuff we were looking at. We gotta start buying their Easter stuff but they've got all kinds of cute stuff at Target and usually it seems like Target always like by the time we get everything like last minute it's always gone mm -hmm. so we're gonna go ahead and get a few things while we're in here before it gets gone <laughs> needs her diaper changed change her stinky diaper <laughs> Change a stinky diaper. <laughs> Change my diaper. <laughs> She's got a burp. <laughs> burp. Oh, there. <laughs> got a little bit of spit up. Can I burp again? Oh. <laughs> Teaching her some bad habits. <laughs> Watch her. <laughs> bad habits, girl. Teaching you bad habits. No. Yes. All right. So we yesterday we actually while we were in Charlotte shopping yesterday and we were on our way home and stuff, we actually got a few things for the nursery. And I debated whether I wanted to show this because. I was like, I want to decorate the nursery more and do like a nursery tour, but there was just a couple things that we bought. Um, so I still may do like a little nursery tour or I may just kind of update along the way. I don't know. Should I do a nursery tour or just kind of update along as we're buying stuff? But we did buy some stuff for the crib and a changing pad, which is what I really wanted to do this weekend. So I need to not have a nap today. Oh my goodness. She is really mad and not being a very good girl. Okay, so the first thing was this changing pad cover. Um, I just was totally in love with this. It's like a grayish color. Um, and it's so neutral. And I just fell in love with it when I saw it. And I was like, it's just simple and so like what I like. And then Delaney's in the crib. But I still need to wash both of these because that one's really wrinkly. But there is what I fig what I wanted for the crib. I don't do bumpers or anything just because those are like kind of dangerous. Is that, is that Unless I find like a mesh, like breathable one. But I just loved this. I just loved the chevron gray with this blue color. I just thought it was so pretty. So there's that. I still don't know like everything, like what other kind of decorations I want. I showed on the vlog a few times at Hobby Lobby what I like. <laughs> Y'all, girls being crazy today. Um, I showed on the vlog a few times what I like at Hobby Lobby, the little giraffe elephant theme and stuff. But I just don't know if I want that anymore. I may just kind of do just like simple wooden and white stuff um, versus like colored and maybe just add like a couple of those things in. Yeah, so that's what I've got so far. I did go to Hobby Lobby today and look and I just didn't like settle on anything just because I really don't know. I'm just the type of person like I just got to explore all my options and like I'll go to Hobby Lobby like four or five times before I actually like settle and like buy stuff like that's what i did with the playroom um i went several times and then um i finally figured out what i like and it just turned out perfect exactly what i wanted so that's just how i am with picking stuff 
Daddy's fixing something on the crib. What was it? The screw had worked itself loose. This. It was like wobbly. So we got a comment today on the vlog that I read it and I was like, that is a really good question. Delaney is behind this camera and is messing with it. So that's probably about checking. Um, I just thought it was a really good question and I'm like, a lot of other people may be thinking that when they see us working on this nursery. We've never really addressed it before. I um, think we have, but maybe we uh, haven't went into detail yeah, or maybe like new detail. people are watching or something. But yes, we are working on this nursery. We have a dresser, a, um, what's it called? a glider, and the crib. The dresser is gonna be like a dresser changing table and one. Okay, and so. The question was, what do you do if you get two? Yeah, the question was, what do you do like when you have another foster child? We don't know how many kids we're open to taking. I do work part time. I work a few hours a day. So that's something we gotta take into consideration. I'll be off all summer and all that, just um, for a few months during the summer. So, but for right now, we said probably one unless we get like a siblings, siblings or twins or something. Um, but we were like probably one for now unless we change our mind during the summer while i'm off um i don't we don't know though we don't know what the lord has in store for us we may end up taking two or three i don't know like and if we get our first foster child and we're like and we get a call for another one and we discuss it and we think we want and you know to add another one as well we'll just change this room like this room right. is not something that can just it's just not permanent so We'll just add another crib to the room, or add that, a toddler bed to the yeah, room. That glider, can we can move that yeah, out of here. Yeah, get the glider out of here. Uh, a glider's not, I mean, I love rocking my babies. I love doing that. Move the glider, move it somewhere else. We, I mean, we'll, the room's just not permanent. We're just setting it up for one just because we don't know and we're not gonna go out and buy another crib or a toddler bed or something until we know. And when we get that call, that's when we can run out to Walmart or Babies R Us and, or get on Craigslist or ask people like who has a crib and stuff. That's when we can go out and do that. But for now, we just, we're not sure what the Lord has in store for our family. We're not sure how many we're going to take. For now, we're going to say one at a time. So this rooms can always be changed. I mean, I'd love to be able to take more than one and adopt more than one and all that. That is our goal is to adopt a child. So I just think it's fun to be able to like decorate the room and um, you know, doing, doing this little gender neutral thing. I just love to be prepared and just kind of have everything ready. And I started to mention this in yesterday's vlog and I didn't um, just because the vlog ended up going like so long so I cut it out. But I'm the type that likes to be 100% prepared. Would you agree that I'm like that? Like I want to have everything ready and Yes, we have everything here that we need except for diapers and maybe some clothes if, Like if we have a boy or something we have totes and totes of girl clothes though, So we have nothing to worry about with that, but I'm just the type that wants to have one everything 100% ready I want to have all the clothes ready. I want to have everything washed up. I just want to have everything and just Y'all are this camera is sitting on the top of the dresser drawers. I'm just thinking like I wish I could have this dresser like full of clothes right now because we have clothes in downstairs that when we get that call, if it's a girl, we'll have to go downstairs and, you know, go ahead and wash those and all that, which is totally fine. And I get that, you know, with foster care and stuff like that, you know, anything can happen. You can get any scenario. You can get any, I don't, we don't know. So I can't be 100% prepared. I mean, we have everything we need here, but like being 100% prepared is something that we just can't do in this case. And I just remember with our quads, like I, like I stayed at home when I got pregnant with them because it was just so high risk. And I just remember researching so much stuff and trying to get 100% prepared before we went in, before I was admitted to the hospital, um, which it would probably would have been like 20 weeks is when I would have probably been admitted until I delivered. But just. I just wanted to be 100% prepared. Like I want, we got our cribs really early. We got changing tables. We got car seats where we got every, like we tried to get all that big stuff to go ahead and get it before I was admitted to hospital because like I stressed, I feel like I stressed every day during my pregnancy with them because I was like, there's four babies coming. I need to have everything ready. And um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just the type that I just want to have everything 100% ready. You can't do that 
with this case, which is totally fine. Like everything's going to work out um, exactly how it's supposed to work out. Everything's going to work out just fine. So what do y'all think of the room so far? I think it's really pretty. I just love the colors, just the gray. Our walls are gray. I just love gray. Gray, like I just love, like my, I love gray everything. Gray, like I could probably say is gray is probably like my favorite color. But like, I just think it's so neutral and simple and I just love simple stuff like that. So yeah, what do you think of it so far? I just gotta figure out what else I want in here. This little girl, if y'all hadn't heard her this whole time, she's been really whiny. So we're about to go get in the car. We gotta, we're gonna go celebrate a birthday and she's probably gonna fall right to sleep. How much you would bet? Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Papa. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh. <laughs> Are you going first? Say, first time bowling. Sunday morning here and we are ready for church and it is really cold outside and look what it done here during the night and it's I think it's still doing it yes look what it done here look at the snow look at all that snow on the ground yeah it snowed here last night um two days ago it was in the 70s so North Carolina for you um I definitely wasn't even expecting to get like any snow, so just seeing this good little bit on the ground is um, definitely surprising this morning. But we're ready for church. Can we show everybody your pretty outfit? Look at me. Look how pretty. So cute. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and vlog. Our family's headed to church, so if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.